Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in our A10C Warhawk and we're going to be looking at using air to ground rockets. Now, like everything with the A10C, it's quite complicated or it can be quite complicated. There's a lot to it, so we're going to fit as much in 10 minutes as we can. First things first, armament screen. The polymers we can have is 2 to 4 and 8 to 10 regards rockets. So if we go on pylon 2, right click rockets. We've got two types of launcher, which is allow 131 and allow 68. First of all, this looks very imposing. Don't worry, it's actually really simple. Now, I don't actually know the difference between a 131 and a 68. If anyone knows, please let me know. What I do know is they both hold seven rockets, and those rockets are the same size. They're both 2.75-inch diameter rockets. Those rockets come in different warhead types. We've got high explosive. We've got Willy Pete White Phosphorus. We've got Parachute Illumination. Practice Smoke. High explosive, different type of warhead certain practice type of warhead a certain practice type of warhead and a certain practice type of warhead and we're going to go for a symmetric loadout so for pylons 2 and 10 we'll go for practice smoke on the remaining pylons 3 4 8 and 9 we're going to go for rockets an even bigger list here but it's again really simple when you actually look at it it's just those lao 131 launchers or the lao 131 times three so three launchers per pylon and the same down here, Lao 68 or Lao 68 times 3. So because we can, we're going to go for the L131 triple pods. And we're going to go high explosive. Same over here. And I'm just going to go the same to keep it simple in the other pylons. Actually, slight change of plan. Pylon 2, I'm actually going to have a targeting pod here just to make targeting a bit easier for CTRP. So showing that we can also have an asymmetric loadout. Let's go for that. Request rearming. While that's loading, let's have a look at today's control. So we're going to be firing with weapon release there. We're going to be using DMS left and right to select our different weapons profiles or essentially select our different rockets that we're going to use. We're going to have uh, TMS forward short to make a mark point and then TMS forward long to create speed to use our CCRP method, as we'll see later. We use our master mode control or toggle button to change between our master modes. And I believe that's all we're going to use today. Rearming complete. Okay, missiles are on. Next thing we need to do is update our DSMS so we can set up profiles for these. So we're going to go to press and hold stat OSB. We're going to load. Then we're going to put it there. Then we're going to load. Then we're going to load all. And wait until everything's loaded. DSMS loaded. So back to DSMS now. And we've got an up-to-date stores page now. So let's set these weapons up. We're going to go to profiles. Two, pro two types of rockets we've got, so two types of profiles to choose from. I can't remember which number is which, so we're just going to try it out. Go down to that first one there, view the profile. This one is the HE rockets, we can tell because there are pylons 3, 4, 8 and 9. So things we can change here are the firing type. So whether we want to fire in singles or pairs or ripple single or ripple pairs. So with a single, then every push of the weapon release button, we will fire one rocket pairs. It'll be two rockets per push of the button. Ripple singles, the rockets will fire out one after the other to a ripple quantity of the amount that we can set here. So if I set this ripple quantity to 10, for instance. So I press 10, 1, 0 here up on the UFC and then press ripple quantity here. Then for every push of the weapon release, it will release 10 ripples, one after the, sorry, 10 rockets, one after the other in a single format. Out of interest, I could also do ripple pairs where it's going to do the same, but they will come out in pairs to the max quantity shown there. So we're going to do ripple uh, singles, why not? Every time we've changed something here, remember to save the profile, otherwise it will get lost. And let's go back in and see what other options we had in there. View profile. We can also change the firing mode. We can fire these rockets in CTIB, continuously cal calculated impact point, or continuously calculated release point. For these types of rockets, why don't we do CCIP? And uh, we'll do the other type for the smoke rocket. Out of interest, we've got other settings we can change as well. Now, these settings that we get here will depend on the type of rocket we've got selected. But as a minimum, we've got the minimum altitude here that we can change. If we wanted to change that, we could put, I don't know, 300 feet or something in, just to show that we can change that. Uh, we've also got the adjustments to the reticle. So like a manual firing site, we can adjust the depression of the rocket up in millimeters or down in millimeters. As standard, they'll both be naught millimeters, but we can change that depression angle if we like. And in fact, I'm going to set uh, minimum altitude back to zero. I don't actually want that on there, but just showing that you can do that. Return back to the screen. Save it out of habit. 
And that's that. Next, let's go to the smoke. So down arrow, it's going to be the M274s. We're going to view the profile. So for these, I want them to come out on single, and I want them to have a mode of CCRP instead of CCIP, and I don't want to change the settings. Save. And that's all I want to do with the setup. And I've just spotted from the DSMS we're actually in training mode rather than the master arm. We want to be master arm to allow us to fire, and we've got our ground safety on, so that will change once we're in the air. Right, let's get in the air and find some targets. Okay, so we're airborne now. We're going to use our first set of rockets, and that is going to be our high explosive rockets. The first thing we want to do is to change our master mode to CCIP. We cycle through that with the master mode button. We can go gun, CCIP, CCRP, and nav. So we're going to go CCIP. Now we need to select the correct we weapon profile. We are currently have no weapon profile at all. We can use DMS left and right to select that, or we can click on here, like that. And you can see it's come up with the relevant profile, in this case the M151, or we can do it through the DMS left or right, and that's off, M51, we can also have 274 out of interest, or off, so that's it, that's 151 selected, you can see it's these four high explosives as we set, we can see we've got quantity 10, the ripple single there, and the CCIP type. So I just want to aim at the ground to show a bit of the symbology a bit better. So we've got a CCIP pipper here. That is the point at which, if we fired now, the rockets would strike at that point on the terrain ahead. Out of interest, it does mean that the aircraft needs to know about the elevation of the terrain in front of it. If for some reason it didn't have that elevation detail, or was at, or we were at an invalid attitude, i.e. not in a dive of some kind, then we wouldn't be able to get this symbology. We've got our time of flight here, so it's currently three seconds before impact. We've got our ranging clock here. It starts up two miles there. It unwinds to one mile there, half a mile, and then zero, basically where we're hitting the ground there. Rockets, uh, our distance is up here at the moment, 1.4 miles, nautical miles for the target. Our distance is actually usually shown down here. For some reason, it's disappeared in, in numerical format, but we don't really need it anyway because we've got this ranging clock here. So let's go and find, unpause and go and find a target. Okay, targets identified, a column of armoured vehicles, so what we want to do for our bombing profile is turn away so we're four to five miles away from them, so we've got plenty of time to get in a dive and aim. We're going to climb up 4,000 feet AGL or above, we're then going to dive down at 10 to 20 degrees to the target, and we're going to fire when we're one mile away from the target, ideally one mile or less down to whatever we consider the minimum range. The minimum range will be dictated really by whatever the hostile is, it's dependent on its anti-aircraft abilities. Our speed for the dive is going to be, well essentially the maximum speed we can get out of the aircraft, there's not much chance of overspeeding in this thing. Okay, we're at distance now, I'm turning in, 5 miles away, 5,000 feet, let's dive in. Really want to adjust ourselves so we come down the line of vehicles so that our rockets that overshoot We'll uh, hopefully hit the other vehicles. Regarding the accuracy of a ripple, they are, well, it says in the fight manual, they will surround the Pippa, essentially. Okay, just approaching two miles now, 10 degrees descent. Let's just pause it so we've got a bit more talking time. So to actually fire, weapon release, push and hold until the entire ripple of 10 rockets has been deployed. Then we can push our hold again if we want another ripple and so on. Again, we're going to be firing at about one mile distance and closing. So let's get on with it. Prepare to fire, 1.7 miles, 4 second flight time, and ripple, and ripple, pull up, pull up, and ripple, altitude, altitude, that was jolly good fun, nicely effective as well, right, let's uh, go around and finish the other ones off, same profile, 4 to 5 miles away, over 4,000 feet, turning in, above 10 degree descent let's see what we've got left to pick off i see how many rockets we've got left actually we can look at our dsms here we've got five on that launcher 21 on that launcher 21 on that launcher and six on that launcher and it's just going to use whichever one's most available so what we want to do really is just align ourselves better with those last units see if we can take them out distance is still well above a mile 1.6 miles and fire and fire! Pull up! Pull up! <laughs> altitude! Altitude! Jolly good fun! I've oh, got the heck, we've got 23 more, let's go for another run. Oh, and we're out, Winchester. Pull up! Pull up. Oh, altitude! Altitude! I think they're just about finished them off. 
Right, so that's the CCIP use of the rockets in single ripple mode. Now we're going to move over to our other profile, which is our smoke, our 274. So um, pause, we're going to go DMS left and weapons off. And we've got our other profile here, the M274 profile. It's automatically turned itself to CCRP mode. So the previous rockets were used in CTIP mode, so that would always be in a dive of some, for, some sort for the reasons that we said earlier. The CTRP that we're going to use now is for use in level or even kind of aiming upwards, and it's for lofting and long range shots. So the CTIP, you have to get in dirty and close like we did there, you know, far from a mile or below. The CTRP like we're going to do here, we can fire from several miles away. So if we wanted to scatter a series of rockets in a base, but we didn't want to go within, I don't know, three miles for some reason, then we could use this method. For CCRP to work, what we need to do is select a spear sensor point of interest somewhere on the ground, and that is essentially going to be our target point. So next we're going to go and mark a target on the ground, or a spear on the ground, so let's get set up. TGP on here, air to ground mode. Um, let's go and find something different out of interest. There's some buildings over there we can go and get. Look for the diamond on the HUD. Put that in position. Make uh, these right MFD soy, so coolie right long. Find a building we like the look of. Uh, that one there. TMS short forward. TMS forward long. That is our speed created. We can prove it to ourselves by clicking on the tab there. You can see we've got this speed wedding cake sign there. So that is our our target set up. Uh, so we're going to drive away now. We're going to drive away about four or five miles. And um, we should explain the symbology here. We've got our CCRP reticle here. It looks like a CCIP reticle, but it's not. It's different. It has a different function. We also have our CCRP azimuth steering line here. This is going to give our azimuth to the target. And our shoot cue here, our aiming cue, this little circle. The name of the game is to turn away, then turn back in, align ourselves with the vertical line here. Then get this re uh, reticle dot here in this little circle here. And then you can fire and be assured of being on target. It will compensate for any altitude you need to be or make you fire up or level or whatever attitude you need to be to hit the target with the type of rocket you've got selected. Now different rockets will have different rocket motors, different distances and whatnot. So just for security, I'm going to get fairly close for this one. Other than that, super simple. So unpause, let's get a few miles away. Three and a half miles, that should do. Full power, turn around. We'll just keep turning until our azimuth steering line becomes more visible. And there it is. Now we've got to line ourselves... Whoops, overshot. We've got to line ourselves up now. Out of interest, we have a DV steering deviation line here. So it's telling us to turn right. And if it went left, it would tell us to turn left. And we've got to get in line now with our line. It's always a little bit awkward. So out of interest, I know you can't see it. It's just disappeared because it's up behind other symbology. But our target is a would be a little diamond in here. You can see it uh, through the TGP there. So just a reminder... All we've got to do is manoeuvre so that this dot here gets in this circle here and we are a decent distance away and then we're going to fire. We've got our usual time to impact of 10 seconds, I believe that is there. This can be a little bit awkward. This uh, The shooting cue can bounce around a bit depending on your attitude and speed and all that kind of good stuff. So, whoops, overshot. Let's get back and fire, 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 fire. And they should all hit roughly where our spears are uh, there. And we can check our BDA from here. Oh, not too bad, really. If there was a bunch of infantry there and they were high explosives, they'd all be dead. So that's how you do that. Regarding ranging, you've got your ranging bar there, or you can range from your TGP or however you're going to range it. Right, so that is rockets. That's showing how to set the profiles up for rockets, showing how to select the profiles, how to select your CCRP and CCRP. Well, you don't really have to. As soon as you load the certain profile up, it'll automatically select CCIP or CCRP for you. How we can shoot in a dive on a dive profile using CCRP, and how we can shoot level or aiming up slightly with CCRP. I hope that helps and see you later.